and welcome back to, oh, uh, what is this even anymore? <laughs> welcome back to Falcon Plays, uh, I guess, uh, are we still doing the Eggplant of King Yama? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and call this still the Eggplant of King Yama challenge altogether. Um, as you recall last time, as I, oh, okay, for some reason, <laughs> I haven't played Spelunky in a while, so, apologize, I'm over here, I just kind of brain farted all over left and right, um, Yes, I haven't played Splunk in a while. It's been a few days, actually. Well, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to show up in terms of um, releasing videos on the channel altogether. So this could probably not even... There could probably not even be a Spelunky gap, for all I know. And so it's going to sound weird. I'm just kind of like, oh, I haven't played Spelunky in a while and whatnot. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much of the uh, actual recordings I have on video that can actually supplement the channel meanwhile. But uh, I did take a little break of uh, Spelunky. Um, after the last... The, I'm going to assume it's going to be the episode before this one. There was a break altogether, probably about a week, a week and a half. I haven't even played it in my off time, honestly. I've been a little bit more, uh, I guess, uh, entertained with a few other things. Well, not necessarily entertained, but trying to launch a few other, um, I guess, projects off the ground and whatnot. So, uh, but now I'm back to it a bit, just not, not entirely, uh, I guess, dedicated to it as it was before. But I'm still going to basically pay some attention to it. Um, that could be, almost be, um... A fact, though, because uh, Risk of Rain came out, and I've been doing a lot of that as well now, because uh, I really do dig Risk of Rain a lot, and, you know, I want to kind of switch up the uh, whole roguelike, I guess, uh, game on the channel altogether. Something I, I really enjoy the genre altogether, that's why I kind of wanted to do Risk of Rain, because Risk of Rain was something I kind of really, was really into when it was uh, basically in the alpha stage, and then, like, um, early beta, and then went into closed beta, and now it's finally out full... You know, full game's finally out, so it's kind of like, yeah, I kind of have to check it out now. So, that's exactly what's happened there. But either way, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back into Spelunky here. Well, what are we trying to do? Uh, same thing we always do. That's never changed. It's probably not going to change ever. But, um, we have an altar. So, if we could probably get ourselves a gift box sometime soon, then it would probably be in our best interest, because then it would kind of, like, get this, uh, first, uh, I guess, return to Spelunky in a while on the right foot. Um, as opposed to the left foot. So let's see what's down here. Uh, no gift box. So, obviously we're not going to start off in the right foot altogether. It is the left foot. The uh, dreaded left foot that I was kind of worried about, but that's perfectly fine. You know what? Um, my biggest concern is, uh, I haven't played in a while, so I hope I'm not going to be too rusty this time about. I mean, I shouldn't be. That's, uh, that's a fucking, uh, excuse that only pussies use. Rust. Who cares about rust? You know what? Um... If you're rusty, then you shouldn't be playing the game. Take a few practice runs before you start recording, bitch. That's essentially how I see it, so you know what? We're not gonna use that excuse, but we do need to this, we do need this key, however, so let me pick up my damsel here. How are you doing, Senor? I haven't seen you in a few days as well. I might as well just sacrifice you already. I'm not entirely sure why I'm keeping you around for. I guess it's kind of like, you know, little, like, embedded torture in reality. It's kind of like, yeah, you are gonna be sacrificed. The thing is, when? Alrighty, and speaking of when... This goddamn arrow down here. Oh, actually, let me just trigger it this way. All right, let's not let's not act like I've already forgotten the basics of Spelunky. It's kind of like don't do that. I mean, I probably have for the most part, but um, let's go ahead and go into this and think smartly and whatnot, and make this a, a proper return. It's gonna be like uh, let's make this like a successful return essentially. I don't want to necessarily die on the mines in my first try back. So let's go ahead and buy some bombs just to be cool and everything over here. I don't really need so shopkeeper. You know what? You should really reevaluate your uh, selection of items there because they're all weapons that I really care about, and they're weapons you kind of like come in. You come about, you come about, I should say, uh, relatively easy by boomerangs or a dime a dozen. And the shotguns, well, I could just kill you for the shotguns, why would I buy it off of you? And then the machete, who gives a shit about the machete, really? If I really wanted a knife as a weapon, I'd just probably go and get the Chris knife. But I'm not gonna do that. So we down here we have a hooker shop altogether, which is cool. It sounds really good in theory, believe me. I'm always enthralled by the idea of hooker shops in general. It's because I'm a very lonely man, but that's besides the point. But um, okay, ho ho, let's not just drop down there all willy nilly. So uh, again, I could have just floated down there with the cave. It allows you to not get impaled by the stuff. But <laughs> hey, ah, son of a bitch! For a second, I was kind of like, yeah, I kind of dodged that, and I was kind of like, nope, not really. But um. I guess foolish damage aside, it was bound to happen at some point, and, you know, better out of the way- oh. Okay, well... <laughs> Alright, I guess I spoke too soon on that one. Well, at least, you know what? Jake the Snake Roberts did a job there. It did, not that it's a job, like, you know, he kind of threw the match for us. Not that type of job, but, um, he, um, essentially did us a favor by giving us the one damage, because it was kind of like, oh, what do you what do you want? Do you want the one damage, or do you want the two damage from the arrow? It's kind of like, yeah, you know what, I would just take the one damage, I suppose. I would have preferred not taking no damage altogether, but... 
I would have to be a better player in order to that not to have happened. But, you know, kind of take it as you can. So let's go ahead in here. And after what? Is it going to be the third level, is it? Third level, 30,000 roughly? Yeah, it's all right. I'm not too thrilled about having to kill that spider for no reason. There was no particular reason for me to kill that spider other than just basically hatred in general. Because I could really use that uh, rock in this level in case there was like a, you know, start off the level with like a trap trigger. You know, that would have been fucked. Good thing there wasn't. There's another rock here, but you know. There's another rock here. That'd be kind of crazy if there was like more than one Dwayne Rock Johnson. I, I think everybody would kind of be happy if there was more than one Dwayne Rock Johnson. But I'm going to buy a lot of stuff here and then kind of uh, put myself in a tough situation for the black market. But you know what? Uh, you know, gotta spend, man. You gotta spend to make money. You, you, just, you just don't make money at all. You gotta, you know, invest a little bit, and that's what I'm hoping to do here. There's a lot of gems here that kind of, uh, at least make it good for us. But yeah, what if there was more than one Dwayne Rock Johnson? I think everybody would be happy to have, like, a full-time wrestling Dwayne Rock Johnson. And, you know, I guess wrestling wouldn't be as terrible as it is these days. And then you'd have a full-time acting Dwayne Rock Johnson, which, you know, oh, I'll take it. Oh, uh, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, you know. I'm not entirely... Uh, then again, I'm not basically a person altogether that really, um... I guess puts so much emphasis in acting, like, you know, I'm not necessarily, uh... <laughs> I guess I say, like, you know, too highbrow about acting, like, you know, during, like, especially Oscar seasons. Like, I have a lot of, like, you know, very, like, hipster friends that are just, like, very, like, Oh, yeah, no, this is fucking movie. It's fucking terrible. It's, it's, you know, the acting was subpar and, like, you know, there was just no emotion. So I was kind of like, dude, really? Just fucking watch the movie. Who cares about their acting? I mean, sure. There have been times in my life as well where I've been like that, where I've been like, damn, this is fucking terrible. This is really acting. Kind of like, you know, when you watch, uh, say, The Happening or something. Is it The Happening? Uh, I'm entirely sure. It's the movie, that terrible M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> uh, I see what I did there. Yeah, sorry, M. Night Shyamalan, but it's true. Uh, no, but uh, basically it's like, um, let me... Do I want up there? Yeah, I do want up there, so do that. Uh, basically, it's, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's toss this up here. Let me see if I can still cook. Okay, good. Um, it's basically like that terrible M. Night Shyamalan movie, The Happening. I won't do the pun again and like, which one. But, um, basically, I believe it was The Happening. It's the one where, like, basically, you know, nature's had enough. It's kind of giving us a finger to know, like, yeah, I'm done with you, uh, fucking up. Oh, God, motherfucking. Jake Roberts! I'm done with you fucking up as well. But yeah, it's basically where the Earth decides to kind of screw us over and whatnot. But I mean, that's besides the point. What I'm trying to get at here is the situation that, um... The acting in that was just blatantly terrible. Like, you can just tell. Like, it was just kind of like, what, really? What, like, it, could you have said that with any, like, less emotion? So yeah, sometimes I will be that way, where it's just kind of like, oh, this acting's terrible. But, you know, it's got to take a really, really bad performance for me to even notice, first and foremost. So that's, I'm just so invested in the movie itself, so, you know, I guess that's part of the reason. Uh, damsel, don't think you're getting away. You're not. So, um, Ghost Man is going to be coming from the left side altogether. So, what I'm going to probably do here is... Okay. Well, apparently take shit damage again from Jake Roberts. Are you kidding me? Are the snakes going to do me in? Had enough of these goddamn snakes on the level, not in the plane. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lord. That was goddamn terrifying. All right. Hooey. <laughs> <laughs> that was a situation where that spider almost dropped on me and killed me, and then it kind of made me go to the right, and I was stuck between two enemies that I had to wait in order to come to me. Okay, it doesn't even matter much, because apparently I'm going to die here anyway. Yeah, good. This is a pretty good, nice welcome back gift from Spelunky. It's a good welcome back fuck you in reality. It's kind of like, oh yeah, cool, you're back. All right, here's a, here's a dark level in the jungle. You know the ju you like you know how much you like the jungles, you know, all those traps? Uh, so, oh, I mean, I usually like traps, but, you know, it's not the type of traps that Spelunky's offering me to catch my drift. Uh, that's not true, maybe. Who knows? Um, I'm always down for experimentation, though, so who cares? Oh, uh, anyway, let's just proceed here. Um, traps are not aside. Um, how are we looking in terms of our funds here? Uh, not too great, but not too bad. I mean, we could easily make our 50,000. Thing is that we want more than 50,000 in case we have a chance at the jetpack. Which is always something we should really keep looking forward to. How are you doing there, Tiki Trap? Now, um, we could definitely make up the money that we need, though, in this level alone. If we get some, uh, you know, Aladdin Scarabs, which is what I'm really looking forward at the moment for. Okay, let's just smash you over there. Now the... I was about to call her the princess. Jesus Christ. Different platformer altogether. Uh, I could get the damsel relatively easy. Now, as the thing is, do I want to use a bomb to open this up? And by the way, ah, oh, motherfucking frog. Really? Of all the times, you picked the most opportune time to jump up here. 
Alrighty, well, here's the situation. We have only one held, which is bad. But secondly, we also, I just realized, we don't have the, um... Okay. Exploding frog over there, and the... I guess the black market's gonna be on this level as well. Now, here's the problem. We don't have the, um... Well, we're about to get the money, but we were low on health, which is really bad. However, would tear... Oh, there's an altar here, too. Shit. I could get the Kapala here. Where is the al Where is the, the store at? Is the store... Is the store under the altar? If that's the case, it kind of works out, though, because I do plan to blow up that altar after I sacrifice the woman. Now, here's the thing, though. I, wanted, I was considering not sacrificing her because I could really use the health. Another cape? Really? Okay. Well, apparently there's fucking capes for everybody today. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Well, good. That got me out of the way. I wanted to sacrifice that thing for extra... Oh! Oh, Lord Splunky, you are in rare form today, let me tell you. Let me sacrifice this man here. Oh, man. Alright, Splunky, you're not fucking around. Let me put a bomb here. I don't want to deal with that thing altogether. Don't blow up the altar just yet. Did I do that? No, I didn't. Good. Okay, and the, the, actually, the <laughs> the entrance was right underneath it, so that was the best bomb imaginable. Uh, let's, um, quickly... Ah, oh, fucking ghost. Where was the woman again? I know she was around here, right? Yeah. Alright, so ghost is in on its way. Uh, not, you know... Oh, no, no! Son of a bitch! I always do that! Why does that always happen to me? Okay. I was in a sacrificer for the Kapala, so now I'm a little bit fucked in that aspect. Uh, I'm a little bit fucked in the fact I can't see as well. Okay, let me assume that, uh, I, no, I killed that thing already, so it's not gonna impale me, so let me just go here. Alright, that was really bad. That was a really bad, uh, ordeal together. I wanted to sacrifice her, get the Kapala, then blow up the altar, and get the, um... Well, get the Kapala, and then blow up the altar, and start getting her pissed off so we can get the ball and chain in case it comes down to that later on. But that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, what's not going to happen, too, is I don't have the money for the Ankh. So, I'm looking at this uh, Matic altogether as a really good investment. And, hey, look at this man already dead. So, let's see if I get the Matic, I could mine that gem there. So, that's one gem. That's roughly what are we looking at. The jungle's probably, let's say, 1,700? 1,800? We got a little bit of gold smashed up in there. Probably, what, the 800 to 1,000 variety? I got a thousand more here. A little bit there that I can mine. Um, and I could get that green gem, that emerald, for sure. Is there anything down here that I could kind of help us out, though? Get rid of those guys. And eh, nothing there. Alright, and there is a few... Yeah, there's a few more things. Now... Yeah, I guess. Let's go ahead and get the Matic. Um, we have enough for the... The Ankh straight up. But I would like to do a little bit extra chopping, and if the Matic would kind of allow me to get at least one extra item, then I feel it's worth it. So let me buy the Matic first and foremost. And let's just go ahead here and do this. This bat's gonna come over here for sure, but you know, it can't necessarily help that. Now, I have to worry about this guy being a jerk. Cool. We're good now. I'm gonna leave you alone. I could come back and kill you with that boomerang, but I won't. There's really no reason not to. That's one of the things I want to improve on, uh, unnecessary kills. Like, if I don't have to kill the thing, then just leave it alone. It's not gonna bother me. I feel like everything's gonna always come back and bite me in the ass as a problem. Now, shopkeeper, is this cool? Can I... Yeah, okay, that's good. That's what I thought I could do, but I'm not ever sure with the shopkeepers. They have, like, you know, they feel like they own everything in Spelunky. I mean, they probably do in reality. That's why they have the funds for all the items that they have. They're a really strong, wealthy family that's been around for a long time. They're like the Rockefellers of Spelunky, essentially. So let's see here. Okay, let me open this up and this up here. And there's a few more gems on that side as well. Yeah, we're already paid off for the Matic altogether. We're getting a little bit of extra cash too, so um, we could probably buy one item of something. Maybe. So, Matic, let's have you hang out there now. Oh, oh no, there it is. Shit, why did I look at the... Okay, I have to go gamble now, unfortunately. Okay, that was quite possibly the worst... Ugh. Goddamn thing I could have done. Alright, you know, unfortunately, I'm not gonna dick around too much because the ghost is coming. There it is. Alrighty, so that was really bad. So now we're gonna have to do some dodging as I gamble a bit, and hopefully... Let's not forget the important thing here is this. So, what little money I have left, I could buy something, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna try to gamble and get that, uh, jetpack, because that would probably be the best for us. Uh... 
the glove would be good too, or the climbing gloves would be amazing actually, but I don't have enough for the climbing gloves. So let's just gamble here a bit, and hopefully we get the, the jetpack, if not money for other things. You lost. All right, cool. So I gotta go back down there and gamble one more time. Okay, that was a pretty bad jump on my part. So I have to go all the way around to avoid this man. All right, ghost man, it's fine. All right, I ain't afraid of no ghost. You know, famous last words is I usually die. It was a ghost, so let me go ahead here and gamble again. I have enough for... Well, this is it. If I lose this one, I can't gamble anymore unless I get, like, you know, $75. Maybe I could just, uh, I don't know, prostitute the yellow woman in the shop over there to get $75 for me. You want a prize? Yes! Yes! Yes, bitch! Yes! Jetpack, bitch! All right, here we go. So this is good. I I'm really extremely happy now. How happy is that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. See, what was happening there was I was about to get, like, you know, classic case of entrapment there. Get the prize and then be like, oops, well, unfortunately, unless I want to piss these guys off, I have to walk right into the ghost. So I'm not going to do this the game, ghost, believe me. This is a new falcon, Spelunky. This is a cautious falcon. I'm uh, an endangered falcon, essentially, you could say. Let me go ahead and, uh... There we go, cool. You could keep the cape, believe me. Maybe I could even sell it to you, you know, give me a few dollars. Dollar dollar bills for something, but that's fine, you know what? With this in hand, I'm really feeling pretty good about this. I have no ropes yet, but fuck ropes, I got a jetpack. That's all that really matters here. So that kind of worked out relatively well. Uh, basically what? I spent 2500 the first time I lost, and I, I spent 2500 the second again. Well, I spent 5000 uh, 5, for uh, a jetpack, which is pretty good. Now, monkeys, uh, we're not gonna play this game as well. I know you guys like playing this goddamn game, but I'm not gonna do it right now, so... You guys are gonna fall down there, and let's see what's down here for us. Uh-huh. More frogs. This frog's gonna impale itself and then blow up. So, you know, quite the circle of life for it in reality. Cool, I impaled myself. It's time for fucking swift death altogether. Taliban of frogs, I tell you. Alright, so let me skip this, or Al-Qaeda. I don't even know. Taliban, Qaeda. I was here. I think that's actually a television station in Afghanistan. Who knows? I forgot. I'm not entirely sure who the enemy is nowadays, anyway. All right, so let's see here if... Mm -hmm. Let me get rid of you. And this piranha there is going to be a problem, so let me just go ahead and extinct them all together. And uh, get rid of him and him. And there is a sacrificial thing down there, so... Uh, frog, don't blow yourself up on the altar. Okay, good. You, you took off. That's good. Now, let me get my Kapala, which I've been, you know, really aching for. Alrighty, uh... Don't be a dick, alright, Tiki Trap? There you go. So, there's my Kapala. And now, we can definitely start looking at collecting some sweet blood for our, you know, saving for blood altogether. Let me go ahead and drop this guy in here. Get his blood. Excellent. Now, uh, let's hang on to the, ka the not the Kapala, but the Matic. We're already holding on to the Kapala. Um, I suppose, that actually, let's, um, very quickly blow the altar up, just in case. Never know. Yeah, she's angry at me, but she's still pleased, because I have, you know, apparently I've, uh, sacrificed many virgins for her. Alrighty, so... Got some ruby here action, and I'm just getting a little bit of gold. Not necessarily have to, but, you know, just in case I get into a shop where... and whatnot, who knows. Better safe than sorry, essentially. That's gonna blow all that up, right? There's gonna be access to all those gems, which is cool. And there we go. Alright, so let's get out of here. Actually, let me get this and get out of here. So what we're looking for now is essentially just uh, build up a little bit of health. Would it be good? Um, And other than that, uh, either the gift box, you know, most, <laughs> most concerning in reality. Okay, monkey. You're not gonna latch on to me. I'm not gonna let your stinking uh, monkey paws off me. Alright, get... On your way there, and we have a man here, which I should be able to do away with quite easily. Now, down over here... Alright, monkey. Monkey, get over here. Good. Just want to get your blood. Alright, uh, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> the damsel is right there, too. Let me get rid of this guy, and... Uh... Jesus Christ, these guys are angry. <laughs> Okay, let me actually... I think it would be in our best interest to... Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works, he said. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, lordy lord. 
there is the, that's the problem right there, which I usually always mention in the videos, is the fact that I'm cooking these bombs and I go by noise more than anything. I was trying to do that and gave myself an opening. Well, now I lost the, the not the Kabbalah, but I lost the uh, goddamn uh, Ankh, which means I can't get to hell. So, it's all ruined! Everything is ruined, so I suppose the best, the best next thing I could do is just, I don't know, kill Olmec. Which sounds really boring now in reality. All this happened because I wanted to get the fucking uh, royal jelly too. That's all. I, basically, that's what it was. It was the it was the, the the need for health or the greed for health. I should say. B, will you get out of there? Just come out. Ah, not even worth it. Not worth it. I'm really upset with my decision on that one right there. I gotta tell you. All right, are you. Yeah, apparently I'm so mad. I just slapped the shit out of the, the mistress. Not the mistress of the prince. <laughs> Keep calling it the princess of the mistress today. The dams all together. Alright, let's just go, damsel, I guess. I'm angry. Very bad situation that you put me in. Well, not you, but my stupidity. I will blame you, though, because it's a lot easier to blame you than it is to blame myself. I already blame myself for enough things. Spelunky shouldn't be one of them. So let's see here. Let's just get on out of here and... I don't know. Let's, uh, if we see any particular fun levels to go through, I will do that. It's like it failed right there. Let me get this here as well. Alright, trigger trap, excellent, and let's just get out of here. Fuck you, B. I'm not happy with your kind. Felt like you guys had some sort of underlying, uh, hand in what happened there, do me. Alrighty, so, let's see, I suppose we're gonna be going into a spaceship this level. Um, I know I've become a little bit more suicidal once I, uh, lose the chance to get the, uh, eggplant or the get to hell together. But, you know, Fortunately, that's just the name of the game. Okay, um, our exit should be that, or is anything I can do over here? Nope. Alright, let's just get on out of here. Nothing really of importance here. Just kind of a speed on through to the end. Well, not the end. I'm not entirely sure if I want to go to the spaceship level now that I think about it. I have no goddamn pace. That was going to be another pain in my ass now that I think about it. Probably that's a good thing. It's a blessing in disguise in reality. Uh, let's see here. Uh, woman. Maybe you won't get blown up, maybe you will, who knows? But you didn't, so that's good. I could piss off that shopkeeper, I guess, if I really wanted to. Maybe I should. I'm not happy with this kind, either. I'm not happy with a lot of people right now, as for what happened to me. It was a good return until that, uh, goddamn, uh... What did I die to again? I, I'm very angry about it. What did I die to? Oh yeah, I, I died to myself, that's what happened, right. Of course. Oh, I died to myself, that's fucking swell. All right, let's just get on out of here. Cooking bombs, great idea. Great idea, they said. Try to look at an MLG type Spelunky player, they said. Cook bombs, they said. Blow yourself up, they didn't say. You go over there, E.T. I'm perfectly aware of your kind, too. Look at you guys, fucking three of you guys here. Let's see, let's just cost the biggest explosion of all time, yeah. It's like a five fucking 4th of July. You know what? I don't have to wait till the next level to get the 4th of July. I'm creating my own 4th of July here. Now, don't get frozen and destroyed by these things. And... Damsel here. You know what? Let me buy her off of you. Alright. It's because I can. This money? Oh! <laughs> well... I, apparently, I just really wanted a buyer so I could kill that uh, E.T. Apparently, when I'm this rich, money is no option to me. Cool, yeah, cool. I know I just spent 18000 on this whore. I'm just gonna use her to kill this, uh, extraterrestrial, though. That's fine. Whatever. Not like I have all the health in the world in reality. If I wanted to, I could go to the temple and just chill out under, like, a mummy and, like, go to, like, 99 health or something. Actually, no, I can't. Well, I know I can. Yeah, I still so can make it to the temple. It's, uh, hell that I can't make it to. Alrighty, so, um, indeed, let's go to the spaceship level and, you know, fuck it. Let's just, uh, throw caution to the wind here. He says that he almost blows up. That would have been quite the caution altogether. You know, when you stop fucking around... Get out of here. Alright, get out of here, stalker. So let's see you go over there. You don't blow up, and let's... Cool, perfect. Let's get on... Up in here, up in here, and... Yeah, I guess I'll take you. Just in case, I'm not entirely sure what to expect from the, uh... I guess spaceship level. It's usually never too pleasant. Okay. Don't kill... <laughs> Well, it's goddamn E.T., man. I swear to God, it's like he came back. That was E.T.'s brother from the last level. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, you killed the, yeah, you killed my brother with uh, the whore? Let me kill the whore for you. 
That's fine, ET. I still got my revenge on you. So this is gonna be quite interesting without the, uh... Oh, hey, look at this! Uh, I thought for a second I started off fucking in case. That would've been great. Go into the spaceship level, you have no bombs, and you're suddenly just... You spawn into a trap. So let's just get on out of here as quickly as possible. Why the fuck not? You don't tell me what to do, game. So I guess to go here would probably be, what, just to get the, uh, space, uh, I guess, not the space blaster, but the blast gun just for the fuck of it. Okay, don't get crushed there now. Okay, oh, no! <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, brain fried. Great return to Spelunky, that's for sure. Alright, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. God fucking damn it.